What is going on, guys? It's Frizz Eyes. Welcome back to the channel. So, everyone's been telling me, yo, Frizz, please tip videos, tip videos. We want to see tip videos. We're going to do one. All right. So, if this gets a lot of support, I'll make sure to do another one after this. But this is going to be just a super, super, just general tip video. All right. So, I'm going to go over literally everything I can possibly think of to go over. And then I have some very, very good gameplay that is going to kind of showcase what I'm talking about. So, starting off, we're gonna go th over the settings because everyone's always asking about the settings and I have a lot to say about the settings because that's the first thing you go to when you're playing a brand new game. I know Apex Legends just came out and first thing I did, settings. So first thing I did because obviously I need to change, uh, you know, some things around, I need to feel comfortable on the game. So I'll show you guys my settings. First off, we'll start with control. So I play on a 6.6 sensitivity. My ADS and high zoom sensitivity is a 1.1 one, one, and it, I haven't changed this. Like this is just default pretty much. And I want to talk about sensitivity because this has to do with your accuracy. If it's too quick, you're not going to hit your shots. If it's too slow, you're not going to hit your shots. Now, just because I play on a 6.6, six, it doesn't mean you should also play on a 6.6. Six. Definitely find something that's really, really comfortable for you. And the way um, I recommend you guys finding a comfortable sensitivity is literally just messing with it. Okay, here, try out an 8. Maybe that's good for you. Oh, too quick? Go down 7. Oh, too quick again? Go to six. Oh, a little too slow. Okay, go back to a seven, and then just keep messing with these. See what's more comfortable. See what you're gonna get used to a little bit more. Or hey, maybe even start off with a, a low sensitivity. That's why I really recommend it starting off low. A four four. Is it too slow? Okay, move up. Five five. Too slow. Six six. Perfect. All right, keep using it. Get comfortable with it. When it comes to ADS, I personally do not think you should mess around with this because uh, I don't know. We just. I feel like this, a 1-1 one, one is like the normal ADS sensitivity for, you know, all the other Call of Duty, so why am I going to change it for this one? So, I can just kind of keep it the default, and it works pretty good for me. Target and aim assist, this honestly really, really does help out with your accuracy. Now, this, I might even joking, like it actually guides you to the enemy. That's literally what it does. I have this on. Um, I think everyone who's actually good at this game has this on. If you don't have it on... Um, well, that's probably the reason why you're not hitting your shots. Next, controller vibration. Accuracy once again, bruh. If, how are you gonna shoot your shots when your controller is like this all the time? I, I don't know. Mine's off. I actually went to my PS4 settings for my controller and turned it off. So, even though it says it's on, it's actually off. I have it turned off for my PS4 controller. So, every time I turn this controller on, no matter what game I play, my controller is not vibrating. I cannot play with this on. And if you play with it on, please, I promise you, turn it off, get used to it, and you're going to thank me later. I promise you on that. Let's just move on. <laughs> I don't know how people put that on. Sprint, cancel, reload. Um, I just turn this off. I'm really used to just, you know, reloading when I want to reload. I know, you know, it's not going to cancel if I uh, start sprinting. So I just keep this off. Again, I guess a little personal preference if you want to uh you know have it on or whatnot auto mantle i recommend turning this off you die so many times mantling over god knows what it is i mean there's some times where i'll be playing nuketown i'll jump in the middle of the uh the bus and i'll start mantling over what i'm head glitching instead of mantling over the little part to you know get on the platform inside of it so i had to turn this off because i i'd end up dying too much and i recommend you turning it off as well auto mantle just gets you killed honestly Auto sprint, this is more for blackout because, you know, you're playing on, you know, not huge maps where you need to turn this on and run for the next three minutes, you know, we're playing multiplayer, so the maps are obviously way smaller, this is more for blackout, I keep mine off, um, I play on default for literally everything, the reason being, because I have scuffs, so as you guys can see, I have little pals in the back of my controller, this one right here is actually my jumping one, so, um, if I ever need a jump shot, boom, press that. This is my sliding one, kind of just to maneuver around the map very, very quickly. So my thumbs really don't ever come off the analog sticks, and it's something I'm very, very comfortable with. So I don't ever, ever change this whatsoever. So I just play on default everything. And even when I didn't have this controller, I still played on default. I, I don't know what it is. I just never change anything. I've always just played default for stick, button, and my l2 l1 all that button layout stuff so <clears throat> moving on to graphics um i don't really mess with this at all people are wondering if i was colorblind i am not i just kind of like the color or having my my character purple and the feed purple and then i just recently changed it back to uh you know just the regular stuff so i don't know i just mess with it just because and then i don't really think the rest of this matters 
um, audio. This is all default. Literally didn't touch any of this. I have Ashtray 40, so I can sound more pretty well when I have on the acoustic sensor. I have dead sounds when I can hear my own footsteps, and you know I don't really need to mess with this at all. So I feel like I went over everything for the um, the control settings. Now keep in mind, guys, this is what I use. I'm not saying you should use this. I'm trying to tell you how to find what you should use. So for sensitivity, again, just kind of mess with this. See what you like. This is all for your accuracy. Aim assist target assist again accuracy you want you want to change that vibration please turn this off i promise you guys man you're gonna thank me later ads high zoom sensitivity like this is all for your accuracy not only that i also have control freaks on my controller as you can see it kind of lifts up my control a little bit more and i've been using these for seven or eight years now i believe and i'm actually sponsored by them and if you guys want to use code frizz you can get 10 percent off um i don't really promote too much but oh sh i just realized i messed up my uh maybe yeah, sensitivity but it basically increases your analog stick to be a little bit higher so you don't need to move your controller too much when you're uh moving or when you're aiming as well it is it's just a little slight movement uh, if it was down here then you have to move it a lot more but since i have a little bit of height i don't need to move it too much so um that's how it helps you out you don't even need one on your running one but i just thought you did you know seven years ago and i just now i'm just so used to having it on both uh sticks so i don't know bro i don't know anyone else uses it on both except me because um I, I, seven years ago i'm like oh okay let me just throw them on both of them but really you just need on this it's only your accuracy one but hey if you want to be like me and throw it on both screw it dude just do it so um yeah settings is definitely a major major key in you know becoming a better player at black ops 4. next i want to go over my class setup so i'm we're gonna be using one specific class setup in general and something that i've used all the time since the game came out and it's been very very helpful so we got the maddox with elo double quick draw and stock so you can aim down your site really really quickly elo nice little clean site and then stock to strafe now this is a very very accurate weapon you're gonna see in the gameplay that i'm gonna showcase to you guys and i feel like this is a weapon anybody could use whether you're good you're bad decent doesn't matter literally anybody could use this weapon and do very very well with and i feel like it's just a very good weapon to um have any place out with as well you can rush you can sit back a little bit more and i, I just feel like anyone can adapt to this next we got the compact device to earn our score streaks a little better now when you're earning the score streaks you're gonna get kills with the score streaks depending on what you have on and again you're gonna have a higher kd gameplay that match because you got some score streaks so i definitely recommend throwing this on next we got scavenger so we don't need to pick up some random weapons off the ground and die off of our streak so definitely run on scavenger we got gung-ho and what this does you can pick up your weapon quicker so if you're running and then you pick up your weapon it's a lot quicker you're already ready to you know get into a gunfight and i think like this is more if you're running around a little bit more and that's why i recommend doing man getting as many gunfights as you possibly can because the more gunfights you get into the more you're going to learn the more you're going to adapt to certain play styles that's what i do next we got dead sounds because i love to flank around you know i love to go on the edges of the map go around the enemies such easy kills when no one knows you're there it's like you know it's like the easiest stuff ever you see me do it literally all this time in every single video i'm always flanking around going behind the enemies and having that sound time they can't hear me they can't see me in your acoustic sensor and you're just very very quiet so i have that on and then next i want to go over specialists because this is very very important so you need to find the right specialist you want to use i know a lot of people like to use specialists um that their favorite youtubers use for instance me i love to use profit battery but when i'm using profit i'm i'm playing 100 percent solo when i use battery i'm usually in a party and you know i just like to have high explosives but if i'm someone who isn't that good at the game and i kind of just you know i want a little bit more help i run crash now for those of you who've been around for a very very long time you'll know i actually ran crash for such a long time uh, at the beginning of this game because i wasn't that good and i might as well play the support streak you know ammo packs you get uh more score per kill so again you have comps to count any of an ammo pack boom you're gonna earn your score streaks very very quickly next you give yourself health you give the teammates health and you could choose when you call that in so if you're in a very very desperate time you're like oh my god dude i can't even met up i'm not ready to go boom 125 health or 125 points for getting all your teammates health and you get 200 hp so you get a you generate a lot of score with crash and you're just kind of playing the support of the team and playing support is honestly there's nothing wrong with that i honestly do it all the time uh kind of when when i'm not even recording or anything like that just because um i don't know i just i prefer to run like profit or battery i feel like it's a lot more entertaining when i'm running those two but um i feel like map control is key so when all your teammates have 
um, you know, ammo in their weapons. They all have 200 HP. They're gonna feel more inclined to move up, kind of get that map control, you know, where you're, most of your team's covering this much rather than this much. So, and that's a key because if the enemy is holding this much of the map, they're gonna feel very, very comfortable. You guys are basically trapped. But when your team has map control, your team's a lot more comfortable. You win your gunfights and you end up winning the game. So I think it definitely becomes a big factor in becoming a better Black Ops 4 player. And just personally me, I run UAV, strike team, and attack helicopter. Now, if these streaks are too high for you, lower them. You know, there's nothing wrong with lowering your score streaks. Drone squad, sniper's nest. I recommend running this setup. If you can't earn the higher score streaks, UAV, drone squad, sniper's nest, not bad. Always have that UAV on, man. If you know what the enemies are and you use that minimap to your advantage, boy, oh boy, you're you're in a good spot. Seriously. Like, I love UAV. I usually, okay, I remember before I used to run drone squad, attack helicopter, and strike team. Now, I kind of like to run that UAV and I run Strike Team Attack Helicopter. That's kind of the setup I go to. And, you know, that mini map is your best friend. Please, people do not use their mini map. I swear, when I'm flanking around killing enemies left and right, the reason they don't run behind them is because they're not looking at their mini map. I don't have a suppressor on my gun all the time. So, if I'm shooting an enemy from the back, my first instinct of someone who looks at the radar is going to turn around and kill that enemy. But your mini map is your best friend. You need to see where the enemies are, see where your teammates are. If your teammates are on the opposite side of the map, chances are you should probably go away from your teammates because the enemies are going to be away from your teammates they're not going to be over your teammates are killing them so definitely pay attention to that next let's go over game mode so when it comes to game modes i really do recommend playing free for all team deathmatch just straight killing game modes especially free for all because you're by yourself and not only that i mean you can't rely on anyone when but yourself because you're playing by yourself. So I definitely recommend playing free for all, but we're gonna actually be playing the featured playlist, which is Mercenary Nuketown Mosh Pit, just cause, um, I don't know, I'm just giving you guys tips. I, I wanna hop in game with this class up I gave you guys and just kind of show you um, what it's capable of doing. We're also gonna be running Crash as well. And I feel like this is overall gonna be a lot of fun. So if there's anything else you want me to go over, please, please, please let me know in the comment section specifics let me know what do you want me to specifically go over and i can dedicate a tips and tricks video to that again show this video a lot of support and i'll make sure to do some more tips and tricks because i again i don't really do this too much but when i do i really like to go in depth anyways man let's hop into a game and run crash my preferred score streaks my settings the class that i gave you literally everything we're gonna all put that into one game here we go we got crash we got the class setup we're ready to go here. Let's see what we can do. Casey on Newtown. Oh, shoot, dude. No. Yo. No, my teammates are even moving up with me. Did he flank us? Yeah, he did. Come on, man. No. Oh, wait. I don't got... There's a man. Oh, I knew it. All right, we're closer to UAV. Go. We're in the perfect position. Easy up. I'm just gonna sit in here until I get what I need. Actually, screw it. My teammates are actually moving up here now. I can move up a little bit. Got him. Huh. These guys have no idea what's even happening. Got him. I run out of 10. Teammates, help me out. I'm just gonna push this up. Please. Okay, we got our chopper. Tag. All right, now I got health to the team. Oh, sorry, actually, minus one, since one of them died. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We're on a 15 gun streak. Holy cow, dude. And we're losing. Oh, shoot. Let me get some tags. I got some more ammo for the squad. There's a guy in our building as well, dude. Woo! Okay. Oh my god, they're all in the building. Are they over here or what? One up top in the corner, I think. Let's go, dude. Okay. Building is clear. 
Got him. Shoot that. Another helicopter. Streaks are still going in too. A little bit of love. Call this in. That in too. About to have a flawless game here. Dude, it's so nice to have kind of control the whole lobby when you, you have this the health and everything. Alright, turn off our nuclear. Call that in. Hey. Alright, bro. We don't need to sit up here. UV up. Alright. Now I know where they're at. Don't Tom. See, this is why I hate moving up. Because then the spawns just flip right away. Look, now they're not even there anymore. Shoot, dude. Alright, good job, strike team. Oh, now I gotta go all the way. Or, are they gonna flip, actually? There's one. No. Screw that, I'm not dying. Jeez. They're gonna spawn at the Jeep, I believe. Because no one's even there. Was I right or was I right? Let's go, dude. Okay. I'm on a brutal. Teammate, make sure you clean up the job, bro. Good job. Okay, let me get out of here. You be up. I speak online. Commencing system intrusion. Place to finish the mission. Nuclear! <laughs> Holy cow, dude. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god! Dude! You can't even make this up. Oh my. Dude, what in the world? Okay, you're dead. Later, buddy. Kill confirmed, man. 72 and 0. All right, bro. I'm not trying to jinx myself here. If this game actually lasts longer, we can go for a higher flawless kill game. Even though they're all in the building. No, I finally died. Oh my god. 80 and 1. Screw that. You know what, bro? I'm not dying. Get the last tag. We ended that. 81 and 1. With the nuclear, man. I'm telling you, man. You follow this, some of those tips I give you, and you're going to become the greatest Call of Duty player to ever set foot on planet Earth. Let's go, dude. Look at this. I, I couldn't be stopped. Four kills right here for the nuclear. Ooh, that's final kill camp too. They even know I got a nuke. There's five. Holy cow, dude. 81 and 181 KD with this Maddox. That was insane.